Okay, sorry for the delay. Uh, it is 107. I'll call the Charter Review Committee for the City of Lubbock to order. Uh, on first item on our agenda is uh, we're going to adjourn into executive session pursuant to, before we do that though, pursuant to the City Council policy and procedures for boards, commissions, committees. The Charter Review Committee will convene in person and via video and or teleconference. Uh, Shannon, are you on right now? Okay, she did, okay. She's in the other one. All right, pursuant to Texas government code section 551 dealing with pending or contemplated litigation or settlement agreement and consultation with our attorney, we will be adjourned or recessed into executive session. Thank you. Okay, it is 1.36, we are reconvened from closed session. Okay, next act, action item on our list uh, in regular session is the discussion of any proposed amendments to the city charter, including, but not limited to the following items. Uh, Article four initiative, referendum and recall. Before we begin that, uh, do you wanna address Mr. Schenkel's email we got this morning. Absolutely, I'd be happy to. You know, one of the comments we heard very early on and we've heard frequently throughout this process is the citizens would like some form of electronic referendum, uh, electronic gathering of signatures added to our charter. The problem we have with that is that violates state law. Uh, the election code uh, section 277 governs everything that you need to do properly for a petition and it has no provisions whatsoever for electronic signatures. It states that uh, the actual signature of the individual is the only part that needs to be signed. Uh, everything else can be pre-printed on a petition, but the signer's signature must be done by them. So there is no provision in state law. Great idea. We are not the body to take that up. Thank you, Bill. <clears throat> Okay, let's look at Article 4, uh, the recall initiative and referendum. If you look on page 3, we asked uh, the city staff to do a little more work on Section 2, uh, Paragraph 3, the presentation of filing a petition, talking about the 10% of registered voters. We talked about this last week. Um, paragraph B, Petition presented for filing with the city secretary no later than 60 days, 60 calendar days. If filing a petition for an at-large position or election or 45 calendar days for a district position. Any discussion relating to Article 4, recall initiative and referendum? Mr. Chairman, I'm item 7 or section 7 there. We still Page have a... Five page five, we still have a difference of, you know, six months um, on the initiative side and, and a year on the referendum side. Okay. Um, I, I, I think, I think a year is appropriate on both, on both of those. Okay. So if there's a referendum, it's, it's in the books for at least a year before the council can do anything. Okay. But it's majority vote on both of them. Uh, so it's not unanimous majority vote. So switching on uh, the initiative side, it'd be six months by majority vote of the council. Is that correct? A year. Well, yeah. I'm sorry, a year. Yeah, I was just I'm saying, sorry. I was just saying make it consistent. I prefer yes. a year. But. Okay. Any discussion related to making that a year? Okay. I'm fine with a year. Okay. And Amy, the red, the red line on that on number two, it looks like it kind of stops the sentence early. Yes. Got that. Okay. okay. And then on page six, uh, limitations and restrictions were all within six months. Bullet point number two, if someone's removed uh, from office by recall, they can't serve for another period of five years. Everybody good with that? Okay, let's go to the hot topic number, page seven, uh, compensation. We've got $800 a month for the council and $1,300 per month for the mayor. That's everybody 
Any discussion related to that? Mr. Chairman, after um, we, we discussing this and I, um, again, the numbers that we come up with, it's up to the city council if we're even gonna wanna get paid. So the numbers we throw out is something that, it, it's something, and but of course it's gonna be up to them. Um, the, the numbers, you know, it's, it's a lot better than $25 a month. So um, I would like to get them more, but you know what? I'm really happy with the numbers that uh, the 800 and the 13, I would like more, but um, it sure is better than $25 <laughs> and 75. True. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, I'm, I'm good with what we've got here. Uh, anybody have any comments with what we've got on paper? Okay, we'll have this for vote uh, hopefully next Monday, as a as a as a group. Okay, Article Three within Section Four Street Powers. That's a removing a lot of uh, outdated language that is superseded by state law. So uh, we just asked that city staff remove all of that unnecessary language that uh, is being superseded by state law. Same thing on Article. Article seven, or Article eight, I'm sorry, uh, related to bonds and the issuance of bonds. Again, state law supersedes kind of how we're supposed to administer that process. <laughs> Otherwise, I believe the rest of that is just um, generic cleanup items. So any other comment on Article four? Okay, this is what we'll see next week in the form of a, of a, a motion and voting. We'll vote on this next Monday. Okay, Article 9, Council Commission's elections. We, we, I guess we covered that. Compensation and attendance. Where was Article 9, wasn't it? Yep, okay. Does city staff have what y'all, what you need for, uh, to get on the agenda for what we're gonna vote on next week? It'll be per the changes that you made, plus what all was before you. Okay. Uh, we've got current language on uh, section 16, talking about uh, amendment, potential amendment to ordinance passage. We've got gender specific language uh, recommendations in there. Uh, does anybody have any, um, what's your thought from the committee on what's, we've got four different options, how we can clean the language up uh, potential cleanup propositions. You know, we've got one, get specific on remo removing topographical uh, errors. And then number four, bullet point four, kind of basically gives the council the ability to change, uh, uh, update uh, code references in the, in the charter as, you know, as it relates to state law, topographical errors, those kind of things. Uh, they can't really change the meaning of the charter without a charter election, but this will give the council. So does anybody have any comments or thoughts on kind of which option fits our are there the best? I have some thoughts on this. Okay. Um, number four gives the council the option just to be able to make changes that are non-substantive. That's hard. That's a hard word for me to say, but but it it takes away a lot of the wordy stuff that that we would have to put into a proposition. This is stuff that is either putting in, does it say man, woman? Is it a comma? Is it the? It, it doesn't um, change what the law is. It doesn't change what we have to do. It doesn't change anything that has to be done. So I like number four because I think it puts more on the council. It takes it out. It's just not the wordy stuff. And it also takes into account changes in state law as well. Yes. So yes, and it's stuff that we're not going to have any authority over anyway. Right. It's the state, so okay. that's I, I do like that. Karen, so there, Karen, there's two number fours. So there's there's a number four on the on the page that's titled potential cleanup propositions, mm -hmm. and then there's a number four that's potential language for amending gender specific. But the number four on that one 
It looks like covers both. It does cover both. I'm, at, I'm talking about this one. Okay, I just want to make sure which one you're talking about. Yes. Okay. Because the, the first number four doesn't cover everything that we need it to cover. The second, okay. I'm talking you're about. You're talking gender specific language number four. Correct. I agree. That's the one. Uh, that's yeah, the one that, I'd like that, to one, see. that one also covers punctuation. <laughs> yes, that's it right. covers all of it. Okay. I Jeff, think are you good with that? Yeah, I think that's kind of what we envisioned when we talked through both of those things, as far as all the uh, non-substantive changes and then the gender uh, okay. piece. I think that covers it all. So, okay. most Billy efficient way of handling it. I mean, I mean, I was concerned about that one when we first talked about it, just from the standpoint, you know, of the citizens viewing that as giving, you know, councils additional authority. I mean, we've already got pay on there. We've got some other things, and then adding this, but this this new language I think is, is very tight and it clearly is non-substantive and it spells it out. So I'm, I'm, I like the revised number four. Right. Mr. Chairman, one comment. When it comes to that, um, I know we read that and we think it's self-explanatory, uh, but will there be opportunities just to, uh, I guess, not train, but inform when it comes to that? Are there opportunities for that? Uh, does it, would the city do that, or how will that be handled? Or you mean in communication to the communication. public? Yeah, to the public. <clears throat> Comment on that, Amy. Yeah, the city would be able to to put out informative um, information. Of course, when there's an election, they're not going going to be able to advocate one way or another, but they can they can give, of course, um, factual information as to what the propositions are are attempting to do. Okay. I do think it's important that that information get out there because people are going to see this and say, well, the council's got all of this author authority, right. it's not authority. And I think it's very important for um, not only the city, but for us as a committee to put out there that this is not giving the council authority to change the charter in any way. This, all this does is take out commas, typographical errors, uh, changes like that. I think that's very important. I think if we give some thought when we do release that information to the public on how to take the word non-substantive and turn it into everyday language, that might be helpful. That's not a phrase that many people are familiar with. It, it, it certainly makes sense. I'm not calling people stupid, but that's the crux of it right there is non-substantive. So if we can explain what we mean by that, then I think people become quite comfortable with what this language says. So we do a press release, you know, our group could issue a press release that had some statements in there talking about what you just said about authorization authority to, to make a lot of critical changes to the documents. So Mr. Chair, uh, on this side, yes. uh, just for clarification for staff. So this number four, is that for moving forward after cleanup changes are made this time or is uh, like cleanup changes this time as well. And then that moving forward, that language is in there. I just want clarification for staff. That's a, I good, was, that's a good question. But, so uh, my question was, is that, you know, we already have, we already have the red line for non-substantive changes. I mean, we went through that this morning. If, if we, if we amended that, that red line to go ahead and include uh, the gender specific language and that, then you know we've got a pretty thick document when we're trying to explain what non-substantive is. Yeah, it's this other, it's 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 proposition number two that's also on the ballot, but this eliminates the need to ever have that kind of proposition again. So I'd say put them both on there. So go ahead and make the changes and then also Thank give you. the council authority later on. But Thank you. that would mean we'd have to go ahead and do the not the gender specific stuff in that same document. Okay. But at least it gives you a red line document to say, you want to know what non-substantive is? Well, here you go. But would your, would your opinion be changed if we're, if this 10,000 character limit comes into play, this would be a shorter way or a more concise way to get that done. Than my doing my the, concern, excuse me, uh, forgive me. My concern, if we're looking for items to cut in order to make this a tighter package, this, the cleanup language is the first thing I jettisoned. Mm -hmm. um, 
and then I would take this new language, this new power to make cleanup changes, give that to the council right now, along with the red line copy and say, this might be the first thing you do with it because this is very wordy and it's very, very long. And we're, we may have to cut something. That's just kind of how I'm looking at it. Okay. I mean, and you know, along those along those lines, I mean, you, you could you could easily just have that red line, you know, presented to the council to say, you know, yeah, if this if this ordinance passes, this is one of the first things I think you ought to do. So go ahead and make that recommendation. You know, if if you take it off the ballot. Okay. I'm you. just concerned about having too many propositions. I am too. I'm I'm very worried about that. I, here. I think um, if we just put this on there, this number, this one number four, this does not cover changing it now. Is that right? That is correct. It, it would not make the changes um, to correct it by but, vote, but what it would do would allow the city council to come back if it were to pass by the voters then at the next meeting after they the could canvassing they could come back and make those changes but they could do it immediately yes and they could do all of them at one time immediately yes with one yes fell swoop. okay yes that makes me happy okay does that give you what you need uh becky i believe it does okay thank and you okay i believe Mr. Chairman, yes. Would we vote on that next time as well? Yes, well, we're we're going to vote on Everything. all of it. Okay. Uh, next time, and then the other one's potential amendment for the or, for ordinance passage. Uh, we have current language in section sixteen, uh, and then we have potential amendment on sixteen as it relates to passage of ordinances and resolutions. Basically, taking the two readings out and doing just one reading on ordinances and resolutions. I have a council person. Well, I can tell you right now, I, I will not vote yes on that one. Okay. I, I still say, I think you need two readings on an ordinance. I, that, that time between the first reading and the second readings, sometimes it's not critical, but there are times when that is a very critical time. Okay. I have to agree, I will not be voting for this. Um, so many substantive changes to ordinances are made during that two week period. Uh, it's, a, it's a valuable tool. It's a, a slight cooling off, a slight pause in the process. And it's too valuable a tool to, to uh, throw out in my opinion. Okay. Thank you. S same here. Okay. I agree, but just for point of clarification for me, so moving to one just speeds up the process. Is that really what it does? Pretty much. Okay. Then I, it, what my experience is, is what everybody else I think feels is, um, you know, just for, from an efficiency standpoint, uh, getting something through, uh, I would not support that either, that uh, I would require there be a, uh, a second reading of that. I, I concur with everyone. Okay, but we'll just take that one off. Bender. We'll take that out. Uh, that that gives us one less thing to vote on next week. So, all right. Any other comments on any uh, potential cleanup propositions? We've got Article Four. We've we've we're going to have a vote on Monday about compensation. We've been made a clarification on what we can and can't do as it relates to state law regarding uh, electronic signatures. Thank you, Bill. One last item to come before our Charter Review Committee is approval of the minutes from the May 5th Charter Review Committee meeting. Everybody uh, had a chance to review those. I've entertained a motion. Maybe motion. Approval. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed by like sign. Motion passes. Anything else to come before our Charter Review Committee? Okay, what time is it? It's 1.55, we're adjourned, thank you.